Hello, art people. Let's learn more about how color theory can push our creativity to the next level. You know about the color wheel already. We know about primary colors, secondary colors, and you might even know about tertiary colors. Now that we understand different things about the color wheel, we can start to learn more about different types of color schemes. You might already know about warm color schemes and cool color schemes. Once you have a handle on the basic primary color models of how the color wheel is organized, it's time to use that color theory to your advantage. You'll be selecting color palettes for your projects and it's easy to achieve the results you want when you know more about how to use the colors together. Complementary color schemes go straight across the color wheel. Analogous color schemes are color neighbors, the colors that touch, a few colors that touch. Achromatic means there's no color at all, black, whites, and grays. Now the one we're gonna look at the most for this project is monochromatic color scheme. There is only one color. It takes on one color and creates a design based with different tints, shades, and tones of that color. And that is the line of inquiry we will be exploring. We are going to evaluate how to make adjustments to the value of a color. That doesn't mean the price, everybody. That's not how much it costs. It's how dark or light the color is. And we can change the darkness or lightness of any color by adding white or black or gray. When a color is a shade, it means it has black added to it. When it has gray added, it's a tone. And when it has white added to the color, it is a tint. Will you choose to paint some color value scales? Using one color plus white plus black and gray, you can make many different tints, shades, and tones. Maybe you'll decide to paint or color with markers or crayons to make your color value scales. A tip is to try tearing the paper for a different texture and style. Maybe combine painted papers with paper that you cut out from magazines and junk mail. You have many choices in how you decide to use a monochromatic color scheme. Will you make a collage? Instead of using many papers like a collage, maybe you'll choose to paint or color onto one paper. Do you notice how this artist is using only one color and changing the amount of water used to make the colors lighter and darker? It also really looks like it's going back in space. That's called atmospheric perspective. Colors and intensity fade as objects get further away. We can observe atmospheric perspective in real life. It's science. Artists recreate that science to create the illusion of space. They even add mist or dust or fog to increase the effect. Things that are closer to us look darker, and as they get further away, they get misty and lighter, desaturated. Maybe you'd like to take photos and digitally sample the colors, show the value scale from a real photo, like this. For another photography option, maybe you'll find monochromatic objects and photograph them as a still life altogether. Or will you try monochromatic fiber arts, yarn, old clothes, fabric, rice paper, towels? Just make sure you have permission to cut things up. Will your subject be realistic and or abstract? 
you decide your own artistic path with the subject and the materials that you choose. Maybe you'll blend realistic and abstract images together into one artwork. What do you notice about the subject of this piece of art? Just remember to show shades, tones, and tints of one color to make a monochromatic masterpiece. And of course, enjoy yourself. Which color will you choose?